Hey, Stevie, how are you? I am fine. How are you? Is it nice and warm I'm, there? Oh, it's nice and warm, but we got rid of the humidity yesterday. Well, that's nice. You sent it to me. It is. I know. It truly is now a dry heat again. That, that would be wonderful. It's it's in the 90s here and fairly humid, but it's, it's not horrible. So. No, that sounds like fun. That's right. I'm not leaving town yet. <laughs> Yep, it's going to be probably you know, 90, 95 today and 20, 30% humidity, so beautiful. Yeah, that sounds great. Well, I think we have a pretty exciting guest here today. We have a lot going on today. We have a guest, and we're going to continue our discussion about uh, road faculty classes, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So who's our guest, CV? Well, our guest is our, our friend Deb Roberts, who... Uh, takes us off on wonderful, exciting quilt cruises. Uh, she does. Yes, we have done some, uh, Road has done some cruises with her in the past, and we have another one coming up next summer. Which... We do, and before we get too far in, we miss Linda, but Linda is in Wyoming? Yes. She's on yes. the college campus someplace in Wyoming. Oh, um, those poor college students better watch out. Linda's there. Watch the college students. Watch out, cowboys. Linda's in town. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, out working hard, I'm sure. I'm sure. So, great. So, Deb does our tours. I wonder what else Deb does. I guess we should bring her on and ask her, huh? I think so. Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb. Hi. So, Deb. Here I am. Uh, yes. So, you are the queen of quilt cruises, hey, right? Matt, Stevie. Yeah. Well, quilt-related the... travel. I do quilt cruises and tours. Oh, okay. Okay. So, how did you get into this business? Um. Well... Well, it's, I'm actually also a certified quilt appraiser. And back in 2004, my daughter and I were visiting a museum in France, knowing one of the things we need to know as appraisers is how to date antique quilts. And we went to this museum that had a phenomenal collection of antique fabric, printed fabric sample books. And they let us handle as many as we wanted page by page. So I came home and I told my appraiser group about the trip and I said, I, we should all go. And so the next year I took 38 appraisers and quilt historians to a tour on a tour of France um, to see that, those books and other quilt related things. And then, then they asked me to do a tour, similar tour in England the following year, which I did. And then people started asking me, well, what about a cruise? And what about a tour here and a tour there? And since I love travel, I've always wanted my whole life to have a travel agency. I thought, well, I'm going for it. So that's, that's pretty much the beginnings. Wow. Well, uh, Matt and I are both glad that uh, you found that museum in France because we certainly have enjoyed our Road to California cruises. And oh, we have. Yes, and uh, I have been with you many times um, teaching for you, which I, I appreciate. That's always, always fun. So... Um, uh, tell us about the upcoming Road to California cruise for t July of 22, right? Yes. Yep. Other than the, other the, than the fact the, that my, well, my, it's, my it's family. Family's yes. Yes. Yeah, Stevie's entire family is going all <laughs> 50,000 of them. I don't know. A lot of them are going. Um, yes. It's a cruise and a land tour. It's going to be a cruise from Vancouver to Anchorage. And then we're going to have the option of doing a three day land tour that goes to Denali National Park. Um, so the cruise itself, you can book. And that's from July 10th to the 17th. Or if you want the entire trip, the cruise and the land tour, it's July 10th to the 20th next year, 2022. The ports for Alaska will be Juneau, Skagway, and Ketchikan. 
There's a quilt shop walking distance from every dock. Um, really nice quilt shops, I'd add. Plus, we're going to have some tours for our, our groups that are customized to include the scenery as well as the quilt shop stops. That sounds fantastic. That, sounds fantastic. that does. And you all, you also will have uh, three teachers on board, I believe. Three? We yes. have three teachers. We have Stevie, and we have Bonnie me. Sullivan, and, and Dana Michelle, who is um, the owner of Alaska Wildfire Design. She is from the Kenai area of Alaska and has been in the quilting business for maybe about eight to ten years. She does Alaska theme um, quilts. She also designs fabric for hot. Hoffman, and I'm real excited to have her on a cruise. We've had her once before on an Alaska cruise, and she was really well accepted. So, and she's a sweet, sweet person, just like Stevie. No, oh, like right. Yes. <laughs> so, have you been any place during this COVID situation, or did that um, certain? I would assume that uh, the pandemic affected you greatly. It did affect me greatly. I've had no um, business. My my last trip um, was just before the country shut down. In fact, I didn't know for sure that I'd be able to get home from Florida without much hassle. Um, it was at, at the end of February, beginning of March. It was a, um, a cruise actually with Kate Bassett and Brandon Mabley in the Caribbean. And we kind of just call it the circling the Caribbean cruise because Things were going on on cruise ships, which weren't really um, exciting with the Westerdam and the other ships that were being held in ports overseas. And so none of the none of the Caribbean islands would let us stop um, oh. or go to port. So we actually, the Holland America actually did some something to get us to go to other islands that weren't on our itinerary so that we could at least see some things. But we did have a lot of fun anyway, um, and that was my last trip. I'm, I'm thankful I had it. It seems like forever ago now, but at least it was something right at the edge of the shutdown. Right. So where are you? Where's your? Where will your first trip out be uh, after this pandemic nonsense? My first trip is a tour. It's um, a tour that goes to the Houston Quilt Festival. It's a week long and we do some touring and quilt shop stops. And then we um, go to the quilt show, which is a, a really fun trip. People love it. You, you're doing a similar thing to road. Add, aren't you? While we're talking about quilt shows that we have. Um, one thing I did during the pandemic was I started a sister company called Quiltcations. And it is only domestic in the United States and Canada tours. So there's no travel abroad. Um, and one of those tours is called On the Road to California. Um, and we'll be ending at the Road to California Quilt Show in 2022. It starts in San Francisco with some really fun times in San Francisco Bay Area. Going over to Sausalito, which is a beautiful community. Going to wine country. Traveling down the California coast to... Um, the Hollywood, um, Bella, Beverly Hills area where we'll do a movie star home tour. We'll have lunch before we get to Ontario and the road to California quilt show. And we're really excited about this. It's a new tour for us selling really well. And I will, I asked if I could do a special promotion and I never heard back. So I'm just going to do it anyway. Anybody, um, <laughs> watching and listening today, if you mention that in the comment section, when you sign up, you'll get a hundred dollars off the road to California tour. That's in um, 2022. The dates are January 15th yeah. to the 22nd, 2022. <laughs> oh, good. So they'll be at the show the whole time. So they, they actually well, can take classes too, if they want. This was before I knew you were having a sewing show. So, but it'll be a great tour. It'll be a lot of fun. Beautiful. Yes. It will be. This is, it sounds like a great time. That's a, that's an, are you, uh, that's a nice uh, sprinkling of area in Beverly Hills and Hollywood area. If you're not from around here, it is something you need to see once. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right. Right. And you, the same you, with San Francisco. I mean, if 
if, even if you've been to San Francisco before, there's probably places that you haven't seen. And we're trying to um, touch on some of those on the tour. We'll have a ferry boat ride from the other side of the bay back to San Francisco, trolley car ride, um, going to some of the factories that are there, and also quilt shop stops. Oh, well, um, check that out. Yeah, so you're not going to make them ride a bicycle over the Golden Gate? <laughs> I did that oh, no, once. They will be doing that. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> as as not, they're sketching <laughs> on the bike. It won't be uh, won't be staying the night in the tenderloin either. I would assume. No, no, oh, no, no, no. All um, mm. first class hotels and better and lots of fun meals yeah. included. It'll be a good time. Yes. So, do you have any interesting stories that you accumulated? from all your travels? Interesting stories. I should have thought ahead of those. Um, well, I will tell you that a lot of people, we, we do a Christmas market trip every year and it's always on a Viking cruise ship, a cruise river cruise ship that when it stops in the port, it always stops at ones that have um, that Christmas markets, Christmas markets in Europe are kind of a centuries old tradition and they're all very um, charming and unique. So one of the things that I have found when we do this tour is people are so shocked by how the European villages and towns celebrate Christmas is so different from the way we do it here in America. Um, and that's just always, it always, surprises me as how surprised people are stevie you'll find out this year when you come yes um, it's really different and it's it's a lot of fun um other stories uh i've had i've had ladies on cruises so deb's connection is a little spotty i'm sure she'll get back uh on here in just a minute. Yeah. You know, one of my favorite stories of traveling with Deb Stevie was uh, the New England cruise. Remember, we got in a taxi and just drove. Oh, oh, we went to Peggy's Cove. In, in we went to Peggy's Georgia. Cove. Yeah. But I did not know you could just hop in a taxi. I mean, obviously, I knew you could hop in a taxi. But I, it never occurred to me that, you know, I mean, a Canadian port's pretty safe. So you hop in the you know, they got the taxis lined up there, and that driver took us all over, didn't he? Oh, yeah. And that wasn't like down the street to a restaurant. That was miles and miles away. It was. And we got to see fall color. It was the only fall color we saw on that trip. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't right. a lot on that trip. Sad to say. Yes. Yeah, that, that, was, that was great. One of the most interesting places that I've been to and – have gone to is the Bali our tour to Bali. Um, yes. The the purpose of the tour is that Bali has always been a textile um, centered community. Their heritage is built all around textiles. The Dutch used Indonesia to make and print textiles back in the 17 and 1800s, 16, 1700s. Um, but even before that, they were big textile people. Um, and it's just such a different culture. It's so interesting to go. And we go, we actually make make batiks, our own batiks to bring home with us. And we go to the Hoffman factory. It's a fun tour. Stevie's been on that one. Um, yes. It's, it's probably the most interesting one we go to, if not my favorite. I've got a couple of favorites, but Bali is definitely up there with one of them. Yes, I uh, when I went on that tour to Bali with Deb, I had my 12-year-old granddaughter with me. And at the end of the tour, Deb gives everybody a, a jelly roll of, of Bali batiks. And so I took my granddaughters and I told her, I said, when you're ready to go off to college, I will make you a double jelly roll quilt. Well, 
it is that quilt is now off at the quilters because that that 12 year old kid is going to be a freshman in college net uh, wow. this coming well next next month actually because they they report in august so she is so excited it doesn't seem possible i know i know she was a well a little, little 12 year old girl but um you know so they're never too young to learn can she still talks about how wonderful the experience was seeing how the people in Bali live and how those textiles were made. Yeah. So it's a real eye opening trip. It's really, it is, it is. It is. And a lot of the food is fabulous. Yes, the food is fabulous. And of course I like the monkey forest. No, nobody else did, but, <laughs> 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 but I'm always going to find something <laughs> weird. <laughs> I've been trained by Matt. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Matt, do you have any other questions for Deb? So, uh, your land tours, you're also doing some wine country tours, right? Right. That's part of Quilcations, and that <clears throat> Quilcations is the domestic tours. It's our sister company. Um, we're going to hopefully be doing three wine country tours next year, and um, we'll just kind of see how those go. We'll, if they're short tours, they're only four days long, five days long, um, and they're, they're centered in Northern California. They'll start and end in Sacramento, and we'll be going all over the Northern California area, um, stopping at quilt shops, doing wine tasting, having marvelous lunches, seeing beautiful views. Um, it's something new we're trying that's um, not very long, not too expensive, and still a lot of fun for a quilter. All right. Well, that sounds great. So what's one of the most interesting experiences you've had traveling? I would say that would be on our tour to Ireland. Um, having people who think that they want to go kiss the Blarney Stone until they find out it's quite a hike up some stairs in the, in the castle. And um, they get halfway up there and they just say, oh, no, kissing the Blarney Stone is not quite high on my list but they can't turn around it's a one-way stairway so they have to go all the way to the top anyway so um i think that that's kind of funny you asked me interesting but it just interests me how it's so important to everybody to do that until they see what they have to do to do that so, right but it's right funny. well and and i know from talking to you deb that the the um the tourism industry and especially uh, cruise ships are doing a lot to keep their passengers. I think uh, Stevie dropped on this. So I think what she meant to say is keep their passengers safe. So what are some yeah. of the things you've heard of them uh, doing? Well, if right now I'm finding, and I, I read about something new every day and every cruise line has a different rule. Um, that they're going to follow. And uh, we use Holland America pretty exclusively right now. Um, so I'll just talk about them. Holland America is going to require vaccination from everybody. Um, this allows them, they tell me, to not require masks on board, and it, but it, they're certainly welcome. They just won't mandate it. Um, they have um, testing on board. They'll have um, daily testing. Um, and they'll have the rooms, your, the cabins will be cleaned in, in new methods where each person, it used to be that the stewards would go down the hall and clean room after room after room. At this time, this, they, from now on, they're cleaning one room independently, going and getting new gear and coming, new clean gear and coming and doing the next room. Um, so a lot of things are changing, I think they're going to still be evolving and changing, uh, you know, over the next six months to even the next year as we see what happens with the virus. Um, but I am comfortable with the fact that everybody's going to need to be vaccinated on Holland America and that they are really paying close attention that they can test on board. Every, every Holland America ship has a mini um, medical center with hospital beds and two physicians staffing it all the time. From my understanding, they've been trained in, in how to treat the virus. Um, and so I, I feel, personally, I feel real comfortable with, with what they're doing. 
Well, I, uh, yeah, that's... yeah De Deb and I both will be doing uh, cruises in, uh, well, beginning of February, I guess, or Janu end of January, beginning of February. And I know that um, Holland Americas, which is the one I'm mostly traveling on also, I know that they have, you know, because they don't want anybody to get get sick, they have always had things in place uh, to keep you safe. And one of the ships has got this cool hand washing thing. You stick your arms in it and it, it like massages your hands and it washes them and dries them. And oh, I mean, I could just stand there for, you know, 30 minutes and have my hands massaged in that thing. But they, 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 they have always been very, very good about uh, uh, keeping people healthy on ships like that. They have to be. It's their business, so. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, well, they, they so want Connie to would love to do an Alaska cruise. Hey, how Connie, about you should join us? Look, come with us. Yes. Our website is worldofquiltstravel.com, and you can um, go to the upcoming trips page and find that cruise and read about it, read the itinerary, read about the workshops, and sign up for, to come with us. And we also put a link, uh, Connie, for the cruise information in the comments. So uh, you should be able to click on that link and go directly to the Road to California Alaska cruise. Right. I mean, Alaska must be a great place to visit. I think this is my fifth or sixth time visiting it's Alaska. Beautiful. And uh, my my husband is my husband is so excited he didn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> yes, Randy is very excited about this cruise. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Well, it looks like we lost lost Deb. I don't know what happened to me a while ago, but uh, we may we. We probably have thunderstorms in the area. So, although it sounds not, like it's uh, Internet Gremlin Day. Yes, sounds like it. So, uh, well, Matt, you want to start the um, uh, class? Looking at the rest of the classes that we didn't finish last week. I I think we should. Well, Deb's back. Well, let's wrap it up real quick with Deb, and then we'll jump right into doing the classes. Okay. So Julie, Matt, okay. Deb, right there. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Y'all just went blank on me. I thought you hung up. I know. That's what I thought earlier, too. But, um, well, we're, we're very proud of our association with your company, Deb. Uh, we know that people get good value I for their... I'm with yours, with Road to California. Yes. yes. For those that have never been to Road to California, it's got to be on your bucket list. It's it's the best quilt show ever. Um and it's a lot of fun. The quilts are fabulous. The vendors are fabulous. I highly recommend a trip to Road to California. Even if you don't come with us on our tour, you should still go to Road to California. <laughs> well, we appreciate that. Absolutely, so, we do. Yeah. Well, Deb, thank you for your time and uh, joining us. Uh, Jillian's just put up here the link to the Quiltcations Road to California tour. And you have a promo. Say the promo Wait. one more time. Your special uh, off, Deb. That would sign up for the Quiltcations Road to California tour. We'll get and mention that they heard about it on this broadcast in the comments section. We'll get a hundred dollars off of the price of the tour. Perfect. So you, everyone heard that. If you uh, put "It's So Road" in the comments section and mention that you saw our broadcast, Deb will give you a hundred dollars off the cost of the tour. So. You should sign up as soon as possible for that tour. I'm sure it's going to sell out fast. Yep. So thank you so much. You guys take care. Yes, your thank you, Dad. Have be safe, and we'll see you uh, in January. We hope. Yes, if not All right, before. Thanks. All right. If bye. not before. Bye. Hopefully. All right, Stevie. Let's start on classes, shall we? All right. All right, Jillian. Put them up on there. Okay, so picking back up where we left off, we have class number 4061C. It's Healthcare Angel by D. Brown. This is a raw edge applique class that you won't have to do any tracing on. And I think this project kind of invokes a lot of uh, emotions with, you know, the, the healthcare, um, the healthcare um, industry and, and the workers and all their you know, COVID-19 troubles and stuff and, and how hard they've been working. So this might be a great class to take to uh, make a project to give to your doctor or 
you know somebody you know that's a that's a healthcare angel. Yes. So yes. this is a Thursday night class. It's three hours. It's taught by Dee Brown, um, who's a vendor for the Quilted Trillium. Um, it's a beginner to intermediate handwork class. So it's a good class. You won't have to really um, bring a machine. No machines are required. Just show up, and uh, you'll do some applique. Yep. The kit fee is $24. So <laughs> looks like that's uh, you, you will uh, have everything you need in your kit. Perfect. Go ahead, Stevie. Okay, this is uh, a Thursday night class. I guess the things are a little bit uh, different. Oh, there they are. Um, a Thursday night night class taught by Joyce Tang, who sells Sukuniko inks, and it's called Not Your Grandmother's Lace. Um, and she is going to show you how to use Fabrico markers and Sukuniko inks to uh, change lace and then create different designs that you can combine with your altered lace. It's re really a, a, a different way of treating something that looks really old and vintage. And as she says, it's not your grandmother's lace. Um, so is that like what normal white lace would be? And then they're painting and doing stuff yeah. to that white lace to make it something cool? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's neat. So if you have a bag full of like your great, great grandmother's doilies and lace <laughs> that somebody gave you, that you have no idea what to do with. <laughs> this might be a good class to take. Maybe I'll send my wife up for it because we have one of those bags at home. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Thursday night class. It's $52. There's a $30 kit fee, and it's for all levels. So I'll we'll have to make sure we sign Jen up for this one because we have a lot of lace that we can do some really cool stuff with. Yes, yes. All right, so the next class, um, this is one of our new additions for 2022. Um, Sheila Frampton Cooper is not a stranger for Road. She's uh, She's been around before. Um, Sheila is a fantastic artist. This, her, uh, her um, apple piecing technique is really, really special. Um, she is extremely talented. She did a sabbatical in France, right, and has come up with some really great stuff. So this is a two-day class. This is a Thursday and Friday class. So it's twelve hours of instruction time. It's a twenty-five dollar kit fee. You will need to bring your own sewing machine. So just remember. When you sign up for this class, you need to bring a sewing machine or somehow have a sewing machine in class. The class cost is $224, so it's a great opportunity to spend two days learning Sheila's techniques and have one-on-one -on -one time with Sheila, and trust me, you will not regret it. Right. Oh. There you go. Okay, this is free motion quilting um, done on the Handy Quilter. Oh, I'm trying to scroll the screen that's already out there. <laughs> the Handy Quilter Capri. Capri, yes. And um, this is the, it uh, looks like the So Big um, uh, panel. And the nice thing about that is that in each of those different pedals, you can do a different free motion pattern. Uh, so it gives you lot, lots of places to explore and just try out different um, fills or di different uh, patterns that uh, Gina will um, be showing you how, how to do. The uh, Capri is a sit-down uh, machine, and uh, whatever you learn on the Capri is also transferable to work on your domestic machine well this is a great opportunity if you've been interested in a capri these these capri classes that we offer are great opportunities to try the machine out and really learn hands-on with the machine um because these you don't share a machine you have that machine all to yourself yes. for all six hours so this is a great opportunity for you if you were thinking about buying one and you weren't sure about it 
This is a great investment of both your time and your money to try the machine out before you buy it. And that's part of the point of these, um, some of these provided machine rooms. They're a little different than what you would normally find to get you um, hands-on and learning. So the class is $137. Um, it's a Friday class. It's six hours. It's a $20 kit fee. It is a beginner to intermediate level. And like I said, the machines are a handy quilter capri sit down uh, machine. So you'll be able to really uh, try it. And like Stevie said, if, if you don't have a capri, you can take the class anyways, and then you can um, do the stitching on your domestic machine when you get home. Uh, this is all, this class is also early on earlier in the week in i believe it's a monday is that what the ones are because <laughs> i'm so confused yes that's what the ones are but uh you uh, capri is a handy culture machine but uh it is an updated version of what you may have heard of as a sweet 16. so um if you had thought you were looking at sweet 16s this is just the up it is not just it is an updated version of that type of machine so yep it's the um, latest and greatest in sit down yeah. machines from handy culture absolutely so all right next Jillian. with that all right so the next class is 5005 c border road border of roses by diane kirkhart so this is a handwork class and actually reading about it, it looks like you'll be doing some intense pencil work to create some shadowing on those rose petals. Yes. And um, Diane teaches with the Apple Quilt products. Um, and she, this class is going to emphasize applique in borders and how do you turn corners and that, that sort of thing. Um, Diane is teaching um, another applique class, an English paper, paper piecing class, and I believe a machine piecing piecing class. So her her applique work is just absolutely stunning. This is a great time to learn those applique products and tools, and also some of these intense pencils. So this is a great uh, great one to look at. Yes, and she's going to teach you how to make a circle that is a circle and not with mm -hmm. one smooth edge and not. <laughs> oh, that's important. Yeah, that's it, important. From a judge's standpoint, that's very important. And also absolutely a visual aspect. It's important. All right, next. Oh, so Deb, this is. Okay. Everybody, I know. Deb Tucker. Everybody loves Deb Tucker classes. So this is a this is a great announcement we can make now. Deb Tucker is actually going to be teaching four days during the show, and she's actually going to be demoing some of her products in our road souvenir booth on the first day of the show on Wednesday. So we're really excited to have this new partnership with Deb, and and this is one of those new classes she added using her um, Star Sixty tool. Yep. Yep. Uh, Deb has incredible energy and she certainly knows what she's talking about. And um, she will make it as simplified as she as she can possibly make it where you're still going to end up with this absolutely dynamite looking, uh, very graphic quilt design. Oh, her work is just absolutely fantastic. Yes. Um. So you won't need to bring a machine for this class. We have Juki is generously providing the machines for this class with our dealer, uh, local dealer, Mortar Sewing Center. And this is a $107 class. This one's held on Friday. So Deb's teaching Monday and Tuesday and Thursday and Friday. Um, this particular class is Friday, and it's a beginner level. So you, as long as you know how to use a rotary cutter, you should be good to go. Right, right. But check out Deb's other classes throughout the week, too. Oh, yes. You don't want to miss them. All right, so this class is 5067C. Do you fear or dread binding your quilt by Connie Spurlock? Now, I think this class is of the utmost importance because I have seen a lot of 
um, interesting binding techniques in my day. And I've also seen some fantastic binding techniques in my day. And Connie is a perfect individual to teach you um, all sorts of different binding techniques. And edging techniques. Yeah. She, uh, Connie teaches this almost every year for us. And every year it's one of the, the, the in the first group of classes that, that fills up. So, um, and you can look at all the different angles and circular binding and prairie points and ruffles. Uh, you're going to get a lot in those, the, that three hour class. And this is a great opportunity rather than spending, you know, a few hundred dollars on paying someone to bind your quilt, spend $52 on this class and learn the skills yourself. Yes. It's a great yes. investment. So like I said, this is a $52 class. It's held on Friday night. It's three hours as a $25 kit fee, all skill levels, and you will be using baby lock sewing machines in this class. Yes. All right, Jillian, the next one. Go ahead, Stevie. Oh, I got to find it first. Oh, there we go. All right, this is Ornaments in the Pines by Beth Watts. And um, you, you will be working on a brother machine. And uh, Beth is going to teach you how to do free motion to create pine needles, tree trunks, uh, and she'll teach you how to use wash away stabilizer and other fusibles and 12 weight threads, all kinds of different things that you may have wanted to try and you just didn't want to purchase all those things until you knew that this was going to be something that was something you would enjoy working with. So this is going to be a great fun play class. Uh, Absolutely. And Beth and is Beth one of our vendors. From and, Fabric Chicks. And uh, it's a $52 class with a kit fee of $60. It said Machines by Brother. And, um, oh, it says here you're even going to use cork. That, Ooh, that cork. Fun. Yes. So. That is fun. Yes. All right, Jillian. Next one. All right. Next class is 6007C, Quilts at Modern by Kathy McNeil. This is a Saturday class. And if you don't know Kathy McNeil, she is a genius quilter. She, I, I always knew Kathy for, um, for her art quilts. They're spectacular. And then one year she entered a modern quilt. And I remember having to do a double take when I saw the entry form come in. I went, wow, that's Kathy McNeil. That is fantastic. Yes. Yeah. She, she, it's, she just has magic finger. Uh, she is teaching some of her landscape classes early, earlier in the week. She's also one of our judges this year. Um, but I think that she has a lot to offer. And the reason that she wins those top awards at a lot of the shows is because not only does she know how to design um, landscape type quilts, pictorial quilts, but she also knows the right way to quilt them, to finish them up. So looks, so, looks like in the picture that, you know, it's some straight line quilting, some circle quilting. Um, so I think you will get a lot out of this, this uh, class taught on a Juki machine. Yep. Oh. This $102 class on Saturday, the 22nd. It's a six hour class and it has a whopping $5 kit fee. And it's good for beginner to intermediate levels. So this is a this is a pretty good class for most everybody. Absolutely. So these next classes, Stevie, I'll take these ones. Um, Jody Robinson is teaching all week for us. And this one that we're spotlighting is 6009N, Grid Work Reimagined. Um, so she's doing a lot with grid work here in our newest um, – Machine company sponsors providing machines for this classroom, and that is the Grace Company. So you you will be on a Grace Company machine. They have a few different um, sizes, and this is a three-hour class, so we're only having one student per machine head. So you will not be sharing the machine with somebody. You will have your own machine the entire three hours. So as $137, it's Saturday the 22nd as a $20 
kit feet, and from what it looks like, you'll be doing all sorts of different grid works, grids, cross-hatching, curved cross-hatching, all sorts of added design elements that um, the quilting can bring to your quilt. But one thing to keep in mind, this is an intermediate skill level class, and you must be comfortable doing ruler work on a long arm quilting to sign up for this and be successful. I know if I could wake up and be quilting like any machine quilter in the entire world, I want to wake up and be able to quilt like Jody Robinson does. Her, her, her quilting just speaks to me. It's just incredible. I can't think of a better endorsement for that. So let's move on. Stevie, you got the next one. Okay, this is an introduction uh, to paper piecing. And I can never remember how to pronounce Nancy's last name. Um, do you remember how, Matt? Rolfsma? Well, well, anyway, uh, la la you know, year before last, the last time Matt and Jillian and I were in Houston together, we took a class with Nancy because we had a, had a free day and we thought, well, let's just see how, you know, somebody that we weren't aware of, let's take this class. And it was a uh, making a tray with paints and that sort of thing. It wasn't a, a quilting class, but we were so impressed with the way that she had her, her class organized and how organized she was in her organization that, uh, right on the spot we asked her to come to, to teach at Road to California. So um, in this, this class, Nancy's going to teach you uh, paper piecing. If, um, if you don't know how to do it, it's pretty, it's a beginner's paper piecing class. And um, based on our um, experience with Nancy, I know that you will, um, learn a lot in this class and be very successful. Yep. And this has a uh, brother machine, Vi sorry, Viking machines provided from our dealer OC sewing. So you won't have to have, there's no kit fee and you don't need to bring a sewing machine. And it is a beginner level, like we said. So this is a great class for you to take. That was an epoxy pouring class. Steve. Yes, it was. It was. So that was an epoxy pour that we did kind of neat. Um, yeah. Something I'm going to want to be starting to get more into as <laughs> I find some time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one, Jillian. So uh, this class is 6013C Winter Woods by Tammy Silvers. Um, Tammy is a designer for, I believe it's Island Batik. Um, and she's got some great stuff. So this is using a guided improv technique to, quote, plant trees um in your quilt so this is kind of a different technique um you are um have working on brother machines for this class it does have an 85 dollar kit fee and it's an intermediate skill level um the class cost is 102 dollars this, this particular class is on saturday but tammy is teaching i believe a couple more days throughout the week so it is a six hour class yes next jillian Okay, the, this is uh, Annie Smith, the A word by machine, the A, of course, being. The A word meaning applique. So you're going to learn the basics of machine applique with this class, both raw edged and fusible. She's going to cover stacked and tucked, smooth lines, all sorts of stuff. So when you take this class, you'll be ready to... Um, to do machine applique pretty much by the end of the class. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And she, machine, go ahead. No, she, she, she's a whiz at this. She is, and she is a Bernina artist. So, of course, she will be on a Bernina machine in the show. Um, the class is $97. It's held on Saturday. 
So six star class is a thirty dollar kit. It's open to all skill levels. Annie is also uh, one of our judges for the quilt contest, yes. and also Annie will be offering. I can tell you this because I know a very cool class for um, the International Sewing Arts Festival right before Road. She's going to teach you how to take that shirt that you bought at Costco that you really really like but can't find anymore and make a pattern with that shirt without taking it apart. So you'll be able to make tons and tons of that wonderful shirt that you bought at Costco without taking it apart if you take Annie's class for at the uh, International Sewing Arts Festival. So more information on those classes we hope will be released in early August. Um, we're still getting the catalog all put together in addition finishing up the road catalog. So it will take us a little bit of time, but please be patient. All right, Stevie, I think the last four you and I can talk about together. Um, on Monday, we're hosting a bus trip to San Diego. You hoo so <laughs> What's in San Diego that they would want to see, Stevie, other than SeaWorld? I don't Which think you are not going to, by I the don't, way. Yeah, well, they're going to go to Eleanor Burns shop. Uh, a lot of people started quilting with Eleanor Burns. I believe the log cabin is, is the one that most people started with. And then they're going to go to um, the Inspiration, Villa, Inspiration Quilt Shop in Valley Center, which I am not familiar with, but I've been away. I haven't lived in San Diego for, oh, I don't know, 15, 16 years now. So, um, and then they're going to go visit uh, primitive gatherings in Temecula. So it, it's a great, you know, it's a very scenic. Once you get out of the, the LA proper um, and you go down along the coast, down towards San Marcos, it's a pretty drive too, but. It uh, is a pretty drive and it's, and it's neat. Uh, the direction they'll take, they're taking I-15 down. So you'll go through Lake Elsinore and Temecula, but that time of year, if you go down there right now, everything's brown. Yes. But the time of year when you'll be heading down there will be very green. And you never know when one of those super bloom poppies is going to happen through there. Um, a few years back, around road time, um, they had a super bloom of California poppies going on there. And the hills were all orange. Now, we wouldn't let you get out of the bus to look at them because uh, – <laughs> Things that slither and rattle really love to live in those mountains, and they like hiding in the puppies. Um, but they're great viewing from the freeway as you cruise down Interstate 15 to uh, to get to San Diego. Yeah, um, you will actually be part of the audience as Eleanor um, demonstrates techniques. So this is actually a great opportunity for you to see where the Quilt in a Day show is actually taped and meet Eleanor herself. Right. So this is $137 and it is on Monday. It is all day. We can't guarantee when you'll get back because, well, traffic. Right. It is the Martin Luther King Jr. Day holiday. So generally the traffic is lighter um, on that day. And generally speaking, the traffic is coming home from Las Vegas, which you will be going northbound when they're going southbound. But just keep in mind, you might get stuck in some of that famous Los Angeles traffic that everyone hears about. But but it's worth it. To see Absolutely. The but, but it's worth it because you'll get to see all these diff different things. And, um, um, and one last thing to, uh, to take note of no matter what, because we don't know what the requirements for mask wearing and COVID will be for the show. But no matter what they are for the actual show, this trip will require face masks. So please keep that in mind when you sign up. It's on the description, um, just so you're aware. We don't know what the requirements will be for everyone else, but we knew the bus company is very explicit about face masks are required, period, end of story. Yeah. So that'll apply for both this one and the upcoming, the next one, which is 9200C, Fabric, Fabric, and More Fabric. This is where you are going to... Hoffman. Woohoo. That's an experience. It that is thing. great. You'll see the surfboards and the Hawaiian shirts. You'll yeah. see the, the way fabric comes in, which is on the long rolls, and then they have the machine that double rolls it onto the onto the bolts that you're all familiar with. It is a fan 
fantastic tour, one that you really don't want to miss. These tours always fill up. Eleanor sells out, and this one sells out as well. Um, we're very fortunate the Hoffman is opening their doors in the middle of all this craziness to give you a tour. Yes, and then going to M&L is also an experience. It's like uh, a Costco full of fabric at uh, discounted prices. So, I mean, start lifting weights now if you're going on, on this tour because you'll be carrying bolts and bolts, and it's it's well worth carrying those bolts and bolts. So, And then yeah, or the Orange Quilt Bee is, is a great shop that uh, is – little bit geared more towards modern and um but great samples and great great fabrics there yeah and not not a vendor at road so this is a unique opportunity to uh to buy from one of our local quilt shops that can't make it out to the show so the last two events i'm going to kind of blend them into one we're going to talk about them a little bit um when we announced the catalog for the for the postponed 2021 show we didn't have party time or roundabout on the schedule because we just weren't quite sure what party time or roundabout would look like in the middle of, of the pandemic. And we've spent the last 18 months kind of brainstorming. And what I can tell you is party time is all new. Um, you're actually going to have Linda and I hosting party time. So Lord only knows what's actually going to happen. Um, but it's going to be a lot of laughing, a lot of great times. We're going to have prizes. The only thing I cannot tell you whether we're going to have or not is a chocolate fountain because no one's gotten back to me on that. I'm kind of guessing that that's probably a hard pass on the chocolate fountain. So we're going to come up with uh, with something different for you. Um, other than the chocolate fountain, mostly because, you know, buffets in the pandemic and COVID and you know, all that fun stuff probably aren't the best of ideas. But we have completely reinvented this event. Um, there will be some old favorites of some games, um, but I can assure you it's going to be new. It's going to be exciting. And somehow they roped me into showing up on Thursday nights. <laughs> so the last one, I want to give a little explanation to this. Um, Roundabout hasn't been at a Road to California show since... 2019 so no it was, it was 19 was the last time it was here so it's been three years since roundabout's been around and we were giving roundabout a lot of thought as to what the future of this event would hold um a few things because number one it had some dwindling attendance issues um, but number two you would get more presenters than you had people for um, so we had some issues that we worked out, but one of the things I came up with um, that we tried out was Roundabout 2.0 via Zoom. And Roundabout 2.0 via Zoom was something we did for the January Road at Home events. And it went very, very well. Now, granted, it went way too long, um, but that's another story for another day. It was fantastic. So I remember looking at the staff in here, uh, Stevie and Jillian, and asking them, well, how in the world can we do this for, for road in person? Now, we don't want to just have you all on Zoom because we want you there in person. So we're going to have two stages set up with a giant screen in between. And you're going to be sitting in the audience. It's going to be like a lecture. You won't have to move around from table to table anymore. And we're going to curate 10 to 12 of the best presenters that we can find. And they're going to, one presenter will be going on one stage. The other stage will be all dark. And that presenter will be setting up their demo. And there will be a camera, so we'll display it on the screen up close what they're doing. It'll be like you're standing right in front of them, but you won't have to move. It's fantastic. And then we'll switch to the next stage. And we'll have somebody else setting up there. And then... We're going to somehow beg, borrow, plead, and rope into some of our 2023 teachers to put on some little presentations for you via Zoom on the big screen. So not only will you be seeing people who are already here, you'll get a taste of what 2023 is going to be all about, which will be something you don't want to miss. We will also have the product table available. We're not quite sure how that's going to look yet, 
But if the teacher or a vendor has something that you would like to purchase that they're demonstrating, um, there will be a way to purchase those items on the day of the event in very limited quantities. So Roundabout is all new. It is all great, but it's kind of taking the best things about both worlds of the virtual Roundabout and the old in-person Roundabout. And that's why we're calling it Roundabout 2.0 Live. Um, there's a couple other things that aren't on here that haven't been released yet. One of them is the Roadies Give Back events. Um, we're still working with the staff on Roadies Give Back to find out when that event will be held, but we'll be using the same um, Missouri Star Block. They've been making quilts, the same cone of black, what we've done in years past. They're waiting to get together goodie bags, all sorts of stuff. I have no idea. They're going to town. So um, that's going on. Um, what else, Stevie? I think we have a we have a couple new teachers we're going to be releasing here um, shortly. And then um, I have one more event in the works that we're still uh, trying to figure out how the details of that are. And once we get that figured out, we'll be announcing it here on It's So Road. So that's a preview of the classes for 2022. Actually, the teachers more than the classes because there are many more classes than we went over here. They're listed on the website. I believe Jillian, Jillian has most all of the faculty pages updated. I'm not sure if the link, it's live. So if you go to the faculty pages, you can actually look up what classes each teacher are teaching. You'll be able to click on the link to actually see the description photo and so on and so forth. So it's really a great opportunity to browse the uh, the class listings by teacher as well. There's a search function on the class listings. There's all sorts of great stuff online. Um, a little sneak peek into the International Sewing Arts Festival. That class catalog will be announced sometime in early to mid-August. Um, it's gearing up to be quite the event that you won't want to miss. We're having two different runway shows. I can't tell, tell you about them just quite yet, but I can tell you they are going to be absolutely amazing, something you won't want to miss, a truly professional production. So if that at all interests you, you may want to look into extending your hotel reservations, which I'll put the link here on the screen, um, to stay for a couple of days of the International Sewing Arts Festival. Um, make sure you get your hotels booked soon. I know we're almost 50% sold out on rooms and on some peak nights we are sold out. So it's something to uh, definitely get a move on quickly. So Stevie, our next date that we will be holding It's So Road, my goodness, let me look it up, will be August 5th. So oh, as a reminder, know, we are the first and third Thursday of the month now, so August 5th. We'll be on with two, not one, but two guests. We'll be featuring some of our Road to California faculty and maybe a couple of vendors or sponsors here um, going forward. So we will be announcing who they are on our email newsletter as we lead up to it. So mark your calendars now for Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific. Um, we will be explaining the show into two segments, a guest per segment. And it should be great. Absolutely. And Linda will be back. Linda will be back. So I can't wait to have Linda back. I do kind of miss her zany quirkiness. So right. I can't wait to have her back. <laughs> and it will we'll be rock and rolling. Yeah, absolutely. So until then, we will see you on August 5th. As a reminder, real quick, August 14th is the start of registration for Road to California. So at 8 a.m. Pacific, so since we did not have a um, show in 2021, we did not have any volunteers or there or go, there is no priority registration. Um, so if you did register in 21, make sure that you saw the email we sent you regarding transfers. Otherwise, it is full wide open on the 14th. There are 230 party time seats available. We'll see how quickly those are eaten up. So on August 14th at 8 a.m., you can start buying those tickets. So... We hope to see you again on the 5th for It's a Road and also on the 14th for registration. So everybody, stay safe, take care, and we will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, this way. All right. The queen. <laughs> <laughs>